All right, guys. Whew, that took a while. Um, even just trying to copy from something I've previously figured out, it was tough. But um, let me try to explain everything. So we have this front area done with the little cobblestone accents as well as the um, pine wood or spruce wood. I'm sorry. Um, and then let's go this direction. So left. Um, I went over there and then we had the big long window and then this one. So the upper floor has some windows here. They're four long and then they're split up by these two um, posts, I guess, on the outside. And then um, a little bit of cobblestone surrounding the windows down here. So that's that. And then over here, just one strip of cobble. Oh, I forgot to put in the windows here. One strip of cobble and then one strip of window. So that's pretty easy. <laughs> and then um, over here, the this is the garage. And I chose to do a little design like this. So comes over here, comes down, comes up here, and goes through there. And then cobblestone behind that kind of crisscrossing along with it. And then around here, so on the side of each of the openings for the garage doors, I put um, some cobble on each side. And then I put a post of the spruce wood going up and then all the way across the roof of it as well. Um, and as you may have noticed, I, I threw in some little posts on the side as well going up um, on either side. So like that. And then a little window in between those two. So that, that should all make pretty much sense. <laughs> pretty much sense. I don't even know if that's a term. And over here, oh, this is going to be a door as well from the garage through the back. Um, but I just came over here and down with two on the end and then another window inside that little crisscross and then with some cobble around that. Here is where things get a little bit interesting. So um, originally I had nothing. So this is the inside. It looks kind of crazy, but um, it was just so hard to figure out some windows for the space. I was, I was really confused on what I was going to do. And I tried out a ton of different little options. So I finally settled on this. Um, I started with this over here. So you've got these windows that gradually go down and they're three by two. And then I kind of um, followed that three by two over here, but then um, I continued that around and then it goes like, so this comes out two further than this one and then this one's two further than this one. And it just made kind of an interesting looking pattern. And I wrapped the windows around. I don't usually do that. And I thought I might try that out here. Um, oh, I think we're missing some things. Um, let's see. So yeah, oh, oh out here. Um, in between these posts back here. Here, let's, let's look at the back first. So I put three posts going up um, through that little lip we kept um, on the back. And um, so out the back door, leave a one space around it, and then one column, one column, one column. And then in between those, I'm going to put cobblestone. And so let's just fill that up and fill this one up. And I promise, this is the most complex part of the entire build. It, it's, it's a little bit hard to grasp, and so don't feel bad if it's, it's a little bit hard to um, complete. It's it's just keep with it, and you'll come up with something good. Or you'll be able to copy exactly this somehow. <laughs> um, all right, so we put that in, and then, oh, I think I'm missing some cobblestone over here as well. But anyway, so those windows, they stop when they meet up with those three columns and then they continue on the outside of those and wrap around and again so this one goes four in and then this one would go six and then this one eight and then I just put this weird little pattern of um, planks in like just meeting up with those windows so you can see there's space here that coincides with that space and it just yeah, it works out great. And then it meets up with that same post that we put on the garage. And inside, I'll have to show you because on the outside, it will look just basic. But inside here, um, so knock out right here and go over and then knock out right here, go over, knock out right here and go all the way up. So do you see that? I'm following 
that window and leaving a one wide space of wool just following those window little cut-ins. So goes in, in, in. And then I just follow these lines all the way down to the floor. So it looks something like that. Oh, I think I actually had one more. So maybe not that one. This little wool. And go over and then up. Yeah, so I think I had it like this. So there should be three again. For some reason, I, I use a lot of threes in this build. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then on the outside there, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, one, two, three. Yeah, I, a little bit obsessed with threes on this build. Um, all right, so now that we have this, um, we can go back outside. Oh, actually, mm, yeah, yeah, I got to show you this part first. So we have this little area, the garage that meets up with this funky little crisscross that goes to the windows and then wraps around and then the three columns. And then over here again. So um, let's start with this side. So two in and then one down from that roof area. I did a two by three and then you go down one and then over and then two by three down one, two by three. And then you leave a two wide space in between and do the same exact thing. And now I just surrounded those windows with some wood. So I went up over the top of it, up over the top, up over the top and all the way down. And then just one over the top of these bottom windows. This will help out with the backyard, which we'll do later. Um, there's just some funky little things I did with the back that actually coincide with this pattern right here. So remember that. So you got the three that kind of steps down and then we just surrounded those windows. All right. And then on the inside, we need to change a few things. So we'll just kind of follow that pattern we did with those. Go all the way down. So around the windows, go all the way down. Around here, all the way down. And then around here and all the way down. So like that, and then just fill that in with cobble. It just, it makes the inside look a little bit more interesting rather than just being completely white. For some reason, I was a little bit paranoid about having too much white space, even though sometimes it's a good thing. All right, so now that I've made things really complex in here, <laughs> um, let's go around to the back again. So we have those wraparound windows, the three columns, and then over here, the steps of three, and then going around here. All right, let's, let's meet up over here with that original front area. So we have this and it goes up to that top that pokes up a little bit further. And so then we wrapped around here. Um, originally I had this going up here, this cobblestone accent, but I decided to go down one and then go around and then follow that, um, go one, two, three, four, and then go all the way down. So with that cobble accent followed from this line, go one, two, three, four, five, and then in, and then around four and down all the way. So remember that. And then I made this kind of crazy looking little pattern here. Um, I hope you're getting a little gist of how I'm going about things. I, I maybe poke out some windows and then kind of surround them with wood and just make some interesting looking patterns with them. So um, leave a four tall space, then go up on the in that corner, go over, three and three on the inside there. So up in three and then another and then three and then another and then go up and around there. And that middle one goes all the way up to the roof. So it just looks like that. And then another three space. So three, three, three. That should be easy to remember. Three, three, three. And then we start with another <laughs> another three. Goodness, I, I have so many threes in this build. So three, 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 and then start with a um, set of three columns that go all the way to the roof. And then um, in between those two elements, um, we go up with a little cobblestone accent and go through those and all the way through to the back. So remember that this one goes all the way through to the back. And then this line also goes through and meets up 
with these three columns. So remember that as well. <laughs> Lots of stuff to think about when you're decorating the outside. So here is a fairly major element. This is going to be a fireplace. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to actually put fire in it. It'll just look pretty. <laughs> um, since it would probably just burn down the entire house since it's wool and wood. Um, so this is the fireplace. So in four from the edge, make a six wide, um, wood kind of just wall. And then on the outside, poke it out one on the edges. So one, two, three, four in the middle. And then on each side, you've got those going all the way to the roof. And then I just have this poking out here for on the inside, there's going to be a fireplace and it needs to have a little bit of space. So, and then on either side of that fireplace, once you've made that four in from the back, put a super tall window from the floor to the ceiling, only split up by that little line of cobble, floor to ceiling, and just one away from that fireplace on either side. So just like that. Some of these window placements are... I looked at the inside first, some I looked on the outside first. So as you can see, it looks good from the inside. It's got one on either side. So I put a window right there and then a window on the other side to match it. And I just thought that looked, that looked really good. And now let's see, actually that might be the last of the outside on the walls. Now we need to do this part took me another couple hours, <laughs> the roof. So as you can see, it's kind of plain and boring. We need to spruce it up a bit. We'll start with the most easiest, is that a term? The easiest um, of the roof portion, the garage. So the garage, you've got that column that splits the garage there, and then you've got the two on the other side. So um, two in from this wall, place some half slabs of cobble and go until you get one from the edge and then go in and then let's see how far do I want this so again on the other side follow that two from the wall and then till you hit almost one and then I think let's do hmm how about let's do that many yeah so have it four wide, or no, 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 <laughs> five wide, one, two, three, four, five. And then, um, so you make a little square like that and it connects through that central pillar thing. And then we're going to poke out some, uh, skylights. So one right here and one right here. So you've got two in the middle. It kind of coincides with this garage door. And then again, on the other side, one right there and one right there. So some skylights are always fun to add in, make the space look a little bit cooler and add lighting Well, in the daytime, at least. And then so we've got like that. And that's basically that roof area. It, it just adds a little bit more interest on top and looks good. Now um, we get to the complex part. Um, we'll, we'll go over here. So that little part that we poked up a little bit further on this corner here, I cut out the roof because we're going to make it just a little bit taller so that it looks a little bit better on the inside. So just place a little ring of wood around there, one from the top, and then place a little skylight. <laughs> Skylights are awesome. So I actually, I think the bathroom is going to be right here and there's going to be a tub right below here. So that's going to be cool. So skylight there. And now, so this front area, we've got these two column things and they go up and over to the top of the roof. Let these go all the way back. Well, almost all the way back. All the way back here. And then just stop before you hit the very end. So right around here or so. And then, yeah, we just do the other one as well. So these go all the way back. Like that. Now, so you see this one that comes up from the garage and then this one that comes up from the little design we have over here these two meet up perfectly so just connect these two all the way through like that so now you've got this crisscross on the top 
Now, um, one in from the top, place some cobble slabs like that. So then you leave one on the side as well. So you've got it just following the roof line and then it goes in like a box and so through there and then like this. It just makes that look a little bit more interesting right there. Um, so that goes around like that. Hopefully that all makes sense without me having to explain it in super detail. And then these two that come up from this side on the front just meet up with this one and then go through one. Like that. So now you've got quite a bit more interesting looking roof right now. Um, let's see. So, um, these two coming up from the fireplace, bring these all the way through. Like this, and then just till before you reach the edge of the roof. Same thing on the other one. Bring that over, and then once we've got that done, all right. So now we've got these three coming up from the back, from those wraparound windows. Bring those through as well. Hopefully you're catching a little bit of a theme here. <laughs> um, whenever you've got a little pokey up of um, the wood, just follow that through and connect with something else. Just it, it adds some continuity and kind of unifies the roof. So then once we have that, let's see. Um, we need to bring these three in as well from those three columns next to the fireplace. So bring these in. Um, just meet up with the roof here. Or the... the <laughs> meet up with the roof. Um, meet those up with this line here. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a little bit something different, but... We'll just stop it there for now. So once we get there, we have some element here. I can't quite remember. Let me go double check. All right, so after double checking, um, let's see. So we've got these all crisscrossing up here. Um, I thought maybe let's add some more skylights. So let's bring... So here's the fireplace um, columns, and then the three columns next to it. Let's bring this inside one all the way through, so like that. And then let's um, cut off right there, like that. And then let's see. So that makes sense. Um, you've got this one going all the way through, and then um, so you want to leave just a little one little jut out right here and then um, place another line going through. And then we're just going to, for the inside, it's going to look a little bit better. But um, place one right there so that you've got just one strip of um, little indents right there. So that all is it's a little bit complex looking, but now we're going to organize it a bit. Um, let's put some cobble half slabs on top of that outline we just did. So like this, and then right here, all the way back and around. All right, so like that. So now you can see, so the front, those two come all the way back and just alongside this little area up here. Um, I'm not sure how... Let's cut like that. Yeah, okay. Um, now, let's bring these other two that we kind of ignored. Come all the way through and then stop too short of the end of that. And then this one all the way through and stop too short of that one. And then we're going to place some cobble half slabs on top of this as well. So go all the way to the edge. Right there. And then one on this one. And then again on the other one. So, like this. Oh. So then you've got kind of again that little tiered look that I've done in a little, in a few more other places. Um, and now let's poke out these areas here that are indented. And we're going to put windows here. So these are our skylights. 
So once we got all of this done, we can put in some windows or glass like this. And then we've got some nice skylights going on. And, and this below us is going to be a kitchen slash dining area. So it'll be just perfect for some skylights. All right. So once we've got all this window in. All right. Like that. And then that's basically the roof. Um, actually, I think we need to bring these in a little bit. So these windows that go all the way up, they're going to go in as well. And I don't know. However far in you want. Um, it's not a technical detail that, I, that really matters. So just bring them in however far you want. and um, Or not at all if you don't want the windows to come in. So then you've got like that. And then we'll just place more glass in. Oh, fall off. <laughs> all right. There. So now we have a much more interesting roof. Um, just adding a, that extra accent of the cobble as well as bringing those lines all the way through, it, it adds a lot. Um, in the end, I'll be adding a lot of bushes and stuff on top as well and some hanging over the sides. It just adds a little bit better look and um, kind of ties it in with the green around. Um, so um, I'll, I'll save that till the end. Um, just know that you add some bushes on top. Mm -hmm.